I have sometimes in my popular writings said something that was false, that one shouldn't say, namely the self is an illusion. This is false for at least two reasons. One, illusions are somebody's illusions. <laughs> you know. Second, if you define your um, terms properly, a hallucination would be a sensory misrepresentation where the object actually does not exist, whatever the voice is, whatever you see. An illusion would be a sensory misrepresentation, a distortion, where a perceptual object actually does exist in the outward. These are the proper definitions. In that sense, consciousness cannot be an illusion. But of course, if you know my own theory about the PMIR, about the phenomenal model of the intentionality uh, relationship, I have said that the self model is not just um, the body, the emotions, the thoughts the organism has, but that there's actually in the human uh, conscious model of reality a representation of what philosophers like Franz Brentano or Edmund Husserl have called the arrow of intentionality, the intentionality relationship. So being directed at a perceptual object or being directed as satisfaction conditions at uh, an action goal is actually that is something that is represented in us. And that is also what a first person perspective is. You know, it's very dynamic. Now, of course, it is part of most of our self models that we are conscious right now and in the forthcoming book i will say and provide empirical evidence that exactly this is false it's not you that has the property of being conscious but the epistemic space as a whole it's just normally i call this the contraction principle and it's maybe a bit too much to go into details here it's contracted in normal, non-altered states of consciousness. It's contracted in the experience of a knowing self. Mm -hmm. I call this an epistemic agent model. So the model of an entity that wants to know, selects goals of knowing, forms concept, directs its attention, that is an agent, that an epistemic agent, an active agent, information hungry system that tries to know learn more about the world and itself that's an epistemic agent and an absolutely central part of our self model is that epistemic agent model it is very important to take note of the new empirical research on ta as they call it task unrelated spontaneous thought mm -hmm. mind wandering daydreaming because the very simple fact, there are a lot of details, is that we are not in control of our own cognitive processes for more than 50% of our conscious lifetime. That's that's a safe conservative estimate. And I still remember when a truly I talked to some eminent philosophers about mind wandering and the repeated collapse of the epistemic agent model. So I think when you have control over your focus of attention and listen to me, you have a stable epistemic agent model, but then you very often have a brief attentional lapse and think about what you have to do tomorrow uh, or what your next question should be. And then that epistemic agent model collapses and has to be reconstructed. So in my view, mind wandering episodes always begin with a col collapse of the epistemic agent model. That doesn't mean that the daydream cannot be about a future epistemic agent model that compl complicates things. But then you can come back to in the present moment after a certain time, right? And I still remember some years ago, I talked to these really excellent philosophers uh, and somebody I really like, William Seeger from Toronto, said now after the talk, come on, now this is I have been listening to you for 60 minutes. 
uh, are you saying I have not been listening? That that there were interruptions, uh, and I said yes, maybe a few hundred, uh, maybe a couple of dozen. And he said, but you, you're not. This is not phenomenologically realistic. You don't say while I'm listening, I have been listening for one hour to you. I've had constant interruptions and lapses in listening to you. Said, yes, that's what the data show. Uh, and the interesting thing was Bill and some others just didn't believe it. Just didn't believe it. They say, this is not true. This is not my own experience. I'm a stable knowing self. And I've listened to you for many minutes. And uh, that's an interesting discussion, you know. But now um, I think we have a much better and fine-grained way to describe what is actually happening. There's a hyper prior landscape in our brain, uh, a landscape of very abstract assumptions, for example, about what a thought is, uh, who the thinker is currently, and um, what the epistemic agent is. Mm -hmm. And you can have, if you have through cultural embedding and through language games you've played, you have a strong uh, assumption that you actually a continuous entity, a continuous epistemic agent. You need very careful, you need meditation retreats, you need a meditation practice. You need very carefully trained introspection to discover that that's actually not true. Else you will like top down shape your own experience of your own thought flow like this. And you will, of course, speak like this. This will reinforce the whole process socially. And you may not discover subtleties in your own experience unless neuroscientists come, say, come and do experiments, you know, with mind wandering and say, yeah, but people, if you test it, they have so many laps and lapses. It's and they don't realize them. So the, the interesting thing about it is that just as most people walk through their everyday life, automatically thinking, neurotically planning, being haunted by unbidden memories without even noticing that they are thinking. The same, of course, um, happens with these uh, lapses and the mind wandering. Most people do not even realize that they're absent-minded. Yes. Unless you do something like experience sampling and fix a buzzer, a buzzer to your arm, and whenever it buzzes, you ask yourself, uh, have I been on task? And you realize, no, I was planning the holiday. But if the buzzer hadn't been there, you would think I was just washing dishes and I was paying attention all the time. Um, so I think if one refines introspection with the help of empirical research, one may discover that many philosophical assumptions about the human mind, for instance, the stability of the epistemic agent model, mm. actually falls. And you're talking like this all the time, <laughs> reinforcing it. Um, maybe some psychiatric patients are very sensitive people who have a better than average introspection and discover these discontinu discontinuities in themselves and get buried by them. Could be. Uh, I've had interesting conversations with people in a closed ward. Uh, unfortunately, both close friends who both are dead now. Um, the most interesting thing for me is if you have a very careful conversation and you go along and you can you can say, you know that this step, this is not consensus reality anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, this is what nobody believes. This isn't there, the towers, the towers uh, where they're watching you. And they are absolutely aware of it. They, they can even say, I know this is not your reality, but yeah. it is mine, and I cannot help it. Uh, 
That is very interesting. It also has to do with the transparency of reality models. I mean, I don't know what the solution will be, but a very interesting question is, of course, how to become representations of the world that the brain generates real, like irrevocably real, and how do they become opaque and just like uh, say in derealization syndrome or something become unreal uh, what are these um, mechanisms i've also been fascinated by this most philosophers just think well this is just reality perceptual reality out there in a healthy person but in epileptic seizures under the influence of hallucinogens there is phenomenological hyperrealism things it's just like the volume control for realness can be turned up and down in depression in depersonalization as you know much better than i do the realness can go down even the realness of one's own body what is that mm. you know and um i have great hope that computational um, psychiatry will be able to describe this. What makes it real? Mm -hmm.